I don't know what the fuck to do with this video. I have no idea where to start. Don't know where it's going. Don't know what angle at, to come at it from. So fuck it. It's an Elk Burger. Okay. Starting off the Elk Burger. Of course, we need about a pound of elk. Now, this is ground up elk meat. And uh, if you don't know, elk meat is really, really lean. So, of course, we're going to have to doctor it up a little bit. So, we're going to get right to that. Um, it's really, really um, lean, as you can kind of see here. It's almost all red. Very, very little fat. So, of course, we're going to have to add some fat into it. So, we're going to take a break, and I'll be back. Okay, dokie. Now, we needed to get some fat into that some bitch. So, how are we going to do that? We're going to add about two pounds of 80-20 ground beef to one pound of the ground elk meat. Don't worry, don't worry. It'll be fine. And then you're gonna wanna season this little burger up with a few spices. Uh, of course, salt, and pepper, and garlic. And uh, you can either work that into the meat or you can do what I'm gonna do and patty it out before him. But you wanna work this meat. I don't worry too much about overworking my ground beef. I know some people make the, the greatest big deal about that, but. I, I just work it about like this. Usually I'm fairly gentle when I form the patties, though, but I'm not too worried about over-mixing or what the fuck ever. Okie dokie. Now, you want to take your three pounds of meat, and you want to make them into third-pound patties at least. These burgers are a little bit bigger because of the leanness of the elk, so you want to have a bit of a bigger burger. So, third pound, good size, my opinion, but you can certainly use... Uh, half pound patties or maybe even three quarter pound patties I wouldn't go to quarter pound it's probably gonna be a little bit too lean then of course we're gonna add our garlic powder and onion powder mix nothing really too fancy dancy here don't worry as I've always said don't worry about over seasoning burgers because you're gonna lose a whole shit ton when you go plop them down on the grill it'll all be burnt up in a wonderful smelling aromatic bit of smoke then just uh, salt and pepper, and we'll be ready to put these burgers on the grill. Okie dokie. Through the magic of cooking show, editing these burgers around the grill. They're going to take about, oh, five minutes a side or so. Like I said, you got to season the other side and be fairly liberal when you do it. When you flip these burgers, you're going to lose just a shit ton. So don't worry about over-seasoning anything. Alrighty, I'll see everyone back uh, in a little bit. Okie dokie, through the magic of cooking show editing again, these burgers are about halfway done. I will say this with these burgers, you do want to flip fairly regularly. Uh, it's just the leanness, so I like to flip fairly regularly when making these out burgers here. Okay, through the magic of cooking show editing, these burgers are done. There's really only one last thing we gotta do, and that's get some fat back into said burgers um, and you want to accomplish this by uh, milk fat or it's also known cheese because a burger without cheese is a uh, like a fucking snake without venom you've got a belt so what we're gonna use today is a nice uh, sharp cheese to kind of cut through the elk and the beef and I'm going with a nice sharp cheddar we'll give that a couple of seconds to melt Always take the extra couple of seconds to melt the goddamn cheese on the burger, too. And, uh, we'll be back for the final plate up. All right. Okay, time to plate up our elk burgers. Now, you want to take a nicely toasted buttered bun, and that's another thing. When you're making burgers for people, toast the goddamn bun. It takes 30 goddamn seconds. Maybe a minute. At most, a minute and a half. So toast the goddamn bun. So, you want to add uh, some mayo to the top bun. Nothing real fancy-dancy here. Then a little bit of sriracha sauce. Just a little bit of heat with this here burger. Still nothing too fancy. But you kind of want the sriracha to wake it up a little bit. And Make it, make it jump up. Don't worry, the mayo and the cheese will cool it down so you're not burning your goddamn mouth. Then you want to take one of the patties and place that on the bottom bun. 
Then, of course, what the hell is a burger without some other crap? So, we're going to be adding some pickles. Because you got to have pickles with your burger. About three pickles. Because I, me personally, I like a bite of pickle every time I take a bite of burger. That's just me. You can build your burger any way you wish. But if you don't want three pickles on there, you can go to hell. And then, last but certainly not least, some iceberg lettuce. And then we'll just put the top bun on like that. And there you go. Elk burger. Done. And that's an elk burger. Or at least an elk slash beef burger. But you kind of have to add the beef. Trust me. They taste a million fucking dollars. So the next time you're cracking a couple of cold ones... And you want to impress the shit out of people. Or just get rid of a bit of leftover elk. Try this one out.